This sports broadcast made possible with support from the following. The Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their over 35 area McDonald's restaurants today. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? It's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Visit RosenHyundai.com or GenesisOfElgonquin.com. Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland. For all your heating or cooling needs, count on Custom Heating and Cooling. Featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at CustomHeating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling. Powered by Bryant. Whatever it takes. For the best pizza in town, Wise Guys Pizzeria in South Elgin. Check out our new and improved online ordering at I'mAWiseGuy.com. Tom the Plumber is a family-owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at TomThePlumberInc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography for portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Barnes Photography at DarylBarnes.com. In this one, we have the Walter Push Christian Broncos taking on the Elmwood Park Tigers. Both these teams coming off tough losses yesterday. Walter Christian, of course, dominated their game all game. Dooley did not give up their lead, but finally, in the last two minutes, it slipped away from them. The Kennedy Crusaders took it, and they ran with it, and they got a couple from behind win. The Elmwood Park Tigers, on the other hand, never once led a game. The Elgin Maroons held tight onto that lead all game, and what was a tough loss for them. It was a great performance from Jordan Boatman, who you're going to see is starting today. Did not start yesterday, of course, another guy that did not start yesterday. Anthony Gutierrez, he's starting today for the Tigers. Then for the Broncos, we saw them never once dip into their bench, except for late in that game, where for about a couple seconds they put in number, I believe that's number three, which would be Nehemiah Skipper. But the big guy to look out for in this game all around is Chris Hillis averaging 24 points per game after his 27 point performance yesterday morning. And we'll see what happens in this one. Pettigrew right there, the big freshman who's six foot six. That right there, that's Chris Jordan. He's solid, been great for the Broncos. And finally, that is Christopher Hillis. A guy you're really going to want to lug out for today. One of the best players in this tournament and all around in their conference. It's going to be a great game. Doing the tip-off is Pettigrew. And then for the Tigers, it will be Patrick Frazier. So the tip-off is coming. I'm Nate Grendis here in the booth with the Beacon Academy, and we are underway for some more IHSA basketball. As bringing it up here is Jordan Boatman. Coming off a very strong 13-point performance is Gutierrez. He had 11 off the bench. Both Boatman and Gutierrez came off the bench in the last game. Clearly, head coach Antoine Jennings wanted to switch things up. Boating gives down low. That was a beautiful pass. And that, of course, is Joshua Ruiz. You're going to hear his name called a lot as well. They love involving him in the offense as much as they can. That's a turnover there. A pass intended for Rivera. Rivera coming off a very solid game. I think he had 12 points in his last one. Was second on the team in scoring. Inbound coming here. Boatman bringing it up. Angelo Bernard, of course, number 14 on that court. You got Patrick Frazier, Sean, sorry, Anthony Gutierrez, Josh Ruiz. That one going down low. It's Ruiz again, trying to get a second basket of the morning. Here's Boatman, great pass down low. 
That one gonna go, not go for Bernard. Felt like he might have had a foul, foul called and they don't call it. Here's Angelo Bernard at the top of the key. Now it gets to Gutierrez. Gutierrez swinging it around the arc. Here's Gutierrez guarded closely. And actually, so they do switch up their starting lineup as in for them is number two, that would be Jonathan Hayes. As it does not look like Noah Williams is here today for their team. Had a solid performance in the last one. There's an and one by Chris Jordan. So a big time basket there for the Broncos. As I was saying, no Noah Williams today for the Walther Christian Broncos. He did had a solid performance last game and today instead they're running with Jonathan Hayes. That's number two. Free throw coming here for Chris Jordan. That one is no good and it's rebounded by Hayes. Looks like there might be a little bit of a foul, and it will be. So, timeout called here. We have six and a half minutes to play here. And the Tigers so far dominating the offensive end, but two, two possessions, two baskets. Meanwhile, the Broncos, they've had three possessions and just one basket. That, of course, was Chris Jordan, who then drew another foul. So 621 to be exact. Coaches in this one is head coach Antoine Jennings for the Tigers and head coach Jeff Harris for the Broncos. So you see the Tigers already ready, right another timeout. We wasted no time. This was a 30 second timeout, of course. So inbound coming, Chris Hillis to do it. Feels like he does everything for this Broncos team. Inbound coming, Ruiz guarding it. Then gives, there's Hayes for three. That one's no good, rebounded by Jordan. Back up with it and it'll be off of, that is Patrick Frazier. So inbound coming here, Hillis once again, trying to set up a play for Hayes. Instead they give it down low to Jordan. Risky pass, it might work out though. No, it does not. Here comes Angelo Bernard, he gives to Ruiz. Ruiz, nice move, but a great steal by Rivera as Pettigrew, the freshman, tried to keep it in bounds and said his foot was out of bounds, and it will remain Tiger's ball. So Boatman gives down low to Bernard, now across the key. Here's Ruiz, a nifty move, no. And here comes Jonathan Hayes. Hayes pushing up the floor. Pettigrew for three. No, you don't see him take those often. Felt like he had a good look. Here comes Gutierrez. He then gives down low. Ruiz back. Frazier, that's a little jump shot from about two feet out. Nevertheless, a good play. Hillis driving inside, shots up, and it's good. Felt like there might have been a foul called instead. Tigers lead is now just two. Here comes Boatman, nice move. That's the crossover. The Maroons have entered the building for Elgin. So here is Boatman driving inside, shots up, and it's no good, rebounded by Angelo Bernard. That one's up, that one's no good, and the Tigers do not have it. Jordan held on to it. Looks like there's going to be a jump ball called. And head coach Jeff Harris, you're going to see him get really active. He got active yesterday. He's going to get active today. He really does not like these calls. But at the end of the day, it's the refs. So they're always right. Here comes Chris Hillis. Here comes Rivera. Fell into the trap. Too f that's going to be a foul called on Jordan Boatman. Yeah, that will be on. So Boatman gets it, here's Hillis from three. Oh, just in and out. It was a good look in my opinion. Definitely understood what I, why he took it. Nevertheless, does not fall. Inbound coming here for Hillis. Hillis, screen coming, working around, going down low to Hayes. Hillis with some interesting passes. 
and double team here. That's for reason. Frazier, and he just throws it off of Frazier. Good play call and a good play made there by Christopher Hillis. Starting to get a little bit frustrated with his teammates. As everyone does. Here's Jordan for three. Yes, sir. So just like that, the Broncos are gonna take the lead nine to seven in this one. Wait. So, pardon me, the score is seven to six. So, yeah, thank you, scores table. All righty, Hillis working around, guarded closely by Frazier. Checking in soon here for the Tigers, following the shot from Hillis, which of course is money, will be number three, DeAndre Presley. So here comes Gutierrez, bringing the ball up. They give the Boatman, guarded closely by Rivera. Now Gutierrez, guarded closely by I believe that is Hayes, it is. So Gutierrez working around, going down low to Frazier, shots up, no good, rebounded by the freshman Pettigrew. Broncos moving up the floor, Rivera full steam ahead, nice stop. Rivera gives to Christopher Hillis. Hillis already four points in this one, got it, he's gonna have more. Like I said, averaging 24 points per game following his 27 point game yesterday against the Kennedy Crusaders. Here's Hillis, he gives to Rivera. Rivera working around, trying to find something, and he hits the floor. It will be Tigers ball. Here comes Boatman, 360 move, hits the floor hard. Looks to be okay, good sportsmanship there by Hillis. And Boatman gonna walk it off, looks like he's okay. And it looks like, yep, it'll be free throws. So two shots for Jordan Boatman. Not a surprise. It loves going to the line. First one's up, and it's good for Boatman. <laughs> Substitution coming in here for the Broncos. You don't see it often, but it will be ne Nehemiah Skipper. That one rebounded by Bowman. He gives to Frazier for three. No. Rebounded by Pettigrew. Here come the Broncos. Rivera pushing up the floor here for Walther Christian. Then gives to Hillis. Hillis trying to find something. He then gives to Hayes. Jonathan Hayes back out to Hillis. There's Rivera for three. No. Rebounded by the Tigers. Here comes Gutierrez. Gutierrez guarded closely by Hayes. Now here comes Boatman, shot is up, no good, rebounded by, oh, it's an offensive rebound. Here comes Boatman, he loses it though. Nice steal from behind there by Pettigrew. Here comes Jonathan Hayes. He gives to Hillis in the corner for three. No, rebounded by Rivera. Substitution, there it is. So Preston's been waiting for a while and Nehemiah just got put there, so. Out goes Rivera and out goes Boatman for the Tigers and the Broncos. Switching up their guard play. Not a bad decision. Nehemiah Skipper <coughs> is a senior sitting at 5'8". So Skipper, great defense here on Presley. Three on three action. There is Gutierrez, that one's no good. Rebounded by, that is Skipper. They give the Hayes for three. No, misses it all. That one will be last touched by Pettigrew. So almost got a nice turnover. Instead, it will remain Elmwood ball. One forty to play here. Bringing it up here is Gutierrez. He then gives to Ruiz, back out to Gutierrez. Going down low and felt like it was gonna be a good pass, it was not, and now inbound coming here for John Hayes. As out goes Hayes, in comes number 22, Elliot Gonzalez for the Broncos. 
Here comes Hillis, full steam ahead, working around lots of defenders. Chris Hillis, beautiful pass down low. Jordan's fadeaway shot is no good around the backboard and out. Coach Jeff Harris letting players know we can't be doing that. Inbound coming, Hillis bounces it off of Bernard. Interesting thing to look at there. And here's Hillis to do the inbound once again. He's gonna have Skipper wide open and he does give it to him. Here's Hillis for three. No, a lot of in and outs for Christopher Hillis. Shots aren't falling, which is brutal. Elliot Gonzalez misses that one. Offensive rebound, there'll be a foul called on the way up for Chris Jordan. Going to the line for two. Just over a minute left here in this first quarter. Jordan's shot is up and it's no good. So second one coming here for the Broncos. Going into their bench a lot more than they did last game. Kept their whole starters in all game. We've already seen two substitutions, which is of course Nehemiah Skipper who just hit the floor there. So that's Pettigrew. Here comes Angelo Bernard. He gives to Ruiz, Joshua Ruiz driving inside, shots up and it's good. Through three defenders slicing and dicing through the defense. Great job there by Joshua Ruiz. Here is Skipper, working around two defenders, gives to Hillis. Surprised he didn't shoot that, he feels like he shoots everything. Clearing he does shoot that one, that one misses. So 26 seconds to play here in the first quarter. We got a tie ball game, 9-9. Looking like it's gonna be yet another great game so far in this Elgin Holiday Tournament. Inbound coming, Hillis goes down low. Pettigrew's shot is no good, rebounded by Jordan. No, it'll be picked away. Here comes Presley. DeAndre Presley pushes off the floor, and the Broncos have it. Cross court pass, here's Hillis. Had all day to wait for it, the layup is up. Draws the contact, couldn't finish the end. One opportunity. Instead, he's going to be going to the line for two. Veteran move by Hillis to draw the contact. He backed up into him. A great play made there, but does not prove to be anything good. So free throw coming here for Hillis. Trying to put the first person with the 10 points, and it will. So Broncos lead 10-9. Out goes Presley, and in comes the freshman, Scotty Ruiz for Elmwood Park. And here is the second free throw coming for Christopher Hillis. And he misses that one. Don't see him miss it that often. And he gives it right to Chris Jordan as Isaiah Manuel tried to save it. Here is a three from Skipper No, rebounded by Manuel. Here comes Isaiah Manuel. Looks like it will be a double dribble. Manuel does not like the call but you can't really argue a call like that where you very clearly did double dribble. So inbound coming here, doing it will be, that's Elliot Gonzalez for the Broncos, who then gives it way up top to Chris Hillis. Hillis, buzzer meter, no. So, end of the first quarter, Walter Christian leading 10 to nine here. It's been a good game so far, low scoring game. Elmwood Park has not gotten to be able to get anything going. Really, Boatman and Gutierrez, their two stops, their two top scorers yesterday against the Maroons. They really dominated that one. They have not been able to get going, and that's something you really got to get going. So, second quarter coming here for the 16, for the 15th place game here in the Elgin Holiday Tournament. So, and of course, this second quarter is brought to you by our season sponsor, the Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their 35 area McDonald's restaurants today. So, we'll see what happens here. Should be another, should just continue to be a great game. And of course, the Bear Family McDonald's, 
Everyone loves them, loves McDonald's. But uh, let's get back to basketball. So inbound coming here. Scotty Ruiz doing, doing it. He is the freshman, one of two freshmen on this varsity team for Elmwood Park, which is, of course, also Nathan Chavez, number two. See if he gets any minutes in this game. So here is Ruiz working top of the key. They give him a lot of space. He will shoot it. Good confidence from the freshman, but he misses. And the other freshman, Pettigrew, rebounds it. Pushing up the floor. Hillis working around. Chris Hillis, spin move. Hillis, mid-range. Oh, no good. And last touch by Manuel, so it will remain Walther Ball. So seven and a half minutes to play here. Inbound coming for the Broncos. Hillis gives to Gonzalez. Back down low to Hillis and right through the hands of Pettigrew it goes. Pushing up the floor, here's Gutierrez. Layup is up and it's no good. Saved and right to, no, it looks like his foot was out of bounds. Jordan tried to save it and it does not work out. So here we go. That one's up and that one's no good. Here is Pettigrew given to Hillis. Chris Hillis. And gives to that skipper. And back out to Elliot Gonzalez near the moon logo. That one is stolen by Ruiz. Here comes Scotty Ruiz. He gives down low Isaiah Manuel. Beautiful pass all around. And it's Angelo Bernard with the finish for the Tigers of Elmwood Park. Big time play there, here's Ruiz stealing it again. The fast break moving, oh, Manuel could have given it down low to Bernard again, and that one just out of reach for Chris Jordan. Tigers take their first lead of the game, 11 to 10 following that basket. As out goes Elliot Gonzalez and the skipper, and in comes Hayes and Rivera. Sebastian Rivera missed a little bit of time, but he's right back in here for the Broncos. Not a surprise, as he's one of the best scorers on that team. Going down low, Gonzalez blocked by Pettigrew. Get that weak stuff out of here. Comes Hillis, chops up, and it's good. Beautiful sequence there for the Broncos, and they take their lead right back. As here's Gutierrez, he gives this Ruiz going down low. Ruiz, the Ruiz to Ruiz movement. Scotty Ruiz gives to Joshua Ruiz, and it's a beautiful possession there for the Tigers. Great cross court pass there to Hillis, going down low to Pettigrew. Gives to Hayes. Hayes thought about shooting it. He gives down low to Rivera. Travel called on Sebastian Rivera. Tough turnover there for the Broncos. And head coach Jeff Harris a little bit confused. It's the right call. Under six minutes to play here in the second. Here's Gutierrez. He gives to Scotty Ruiz. I got a. Say their first names now. There's Joshua Ruiz. No good. Rebounded by Jonathan Hayes. He's pushing up the floor. Full steam ahead. Euro step. Shot no good. And kept alive by Isaiah Manuel. He gets to Gutierrez. Gutierrez guarded closely here by Hillis. Now Rivera on him. Gutierrez working around. Scotty Ruiz. The freshman getting a lot of minutes so far in this one. Here's Gutierrez. He gives down low, Bernard got it stripped from him and Ruiz still holds on to it. Gets to Joshua Ruiz, driving inside, baseline, and hits, runs right into Brandon Pettigrew. We'll see what the call is here. And it'll be free throws coming here for Scotty Ruiz. Pardon me, that is gonna be Joshua Ruiz. Sorry, I saw Scotty Ruiz at the top of the key. So I thought maybe, but um, that's my bad. Here's the first free throw coming for Joshua Ruiz. That one's up and that one's good. So second one coming now for Elmwood Park. They now lead 14 to 12, 5-13 to play. Shots up and it is good. So. Big time free throw there for Ruiz, making it a three point lead for the Tigers, their biggest of the day. Here is Hayes, he gives to, what a pass down low, and it's just over the head. 
You see Hillis, he loves to fire those passes down low. But a lot of the times, Jordan cannot hold on to it or their players cannot hold on to it, which is just tough for him because they're not bad passes. They're just not good reads played there by the other side of the offense. Scotty Ruiz, he gives to Gutierrez. Guarded closely here by Hayes. Ruiz open for three. Freshman with some confidence in and out. Would have been big, but it's great to see the freshman not scared to shoot it whatsoever. Here's Rivera for three. That one's no good. Rebounded by Gutierrez. Anthony Gutierrez bringing it up the floor. Carter closely by Hillis. Gives to Ruiz down low. What a pass to Manuel, and he'll lose it. Chris Jordan's got it, and it'll be a jump ball. So 4.20 to play here. Inbound coming to Sebastian Rivera. 4.15 to play here. Here is Hayes going down low, and it'll be tipped away, and it will remain Broncos ball. Jonathan Hayes is a sophomore for the Broncos, sitting at five foot ten. Had a solid season so far, averaging about 7.5 points per game. Hillis passed down low over the head, and it will remain. It'll be Tiger's ball. Four minutes to play here in this one as Elmwood Park leads 15 to 12. Manuel's shot down low is not good. Here's Bernard working around, trying to find something. And foul call. That'll be on Isaiah Manuel. Oh, sorry, Manuel's going to the line. It'll be on Jonathan Hayes for the Broncos. So Manuel waits, gets ready, shoots, and it is no good. So, see what happens here in the second free throw. We make it a four point lead for the Tigers. Everyone, Jordan got to, got to do a good job here boxing out if he does miss it the second. That one's up, but that one will fall. So, big free throw there for the Tigers. They now lead by fourth, under four minutes to play here in the first half. Sebastian Rivera for the Broncos. Cross court pass, Pettigrew nearly lost it, moves on to it, pass down low to Jordan. Chris Jordan just chucks up a shot and it'll remain Broncos ball. Inbound coming for Hillis. Going down low, Pettigrew shot is Blocked by Angelo Bernard, but it looks like there was also some hand-to-hand -hand contact. It'll be a foul called, and the freshman Pettigrew going to the line for two. Lots of sophomore, sorry, lots of freshmen on this team for the Broncos. That one's up, and that one's good. But like I said, you have Jaden Nash, Nathaniel Castillo, Christopher Jordan. There's a lot of Chris's on this team. You got Chris Jordan. Oh. Okay. So bringing it up here, working around, swinging it around. So number 13, Chris Jordan. He is also a freshman for. Broncos. Three fifteen to play here. Rivera swinging around to Jordan. Jordan going down low. Pettigrew's shot is up. It's no good, and it'll be kept alive. No, it won't. Here comes the Tigers driving down low. Bernard's shot is good. Beautiful, quick moving ball there for the Tigers. And now here is Sebastian Rivera. 
Rivera guarded closely here by Gutierrez. He gives down low to Jordan. Jordan, cross-court pass. Hillis had a nice mid-range shot. He takes it, and he does not bury it. You see him make a lot of those. Misses that one, though. 238 to play is coming in as DeAndre Presley out goes Scotty Ruiz. Josh Ruiz, however, is still in for the Elmwood Park Tigers. Nice pass there by Presley, no look. Gives to Josh Ruiz, going baseline, gotta watch those feet. He does it, and he incredibly does a great job down low to make it a 20 to 14 game for the Tigers. Six point lead now. Pettigrew shots up, and one opportunity! Brandon Pettigrew! Great job there to put some more points on the board and get some emphasis of some physicality in this game. So Pettigrew gets ready to shoot his third free throw. And that one is good after rolling around about five times. So 20 to 17, three point game, one possession game for the first time in a while, about three minutes to spend since then. And over and back, you heard head coach for Walter Christian scream over and back. That's Jeff Harris, of course. We're gonna hear him a lot today. Here's Christopher Hillis to do the inbound. Got Rivera wide open, and of course he will give it to him. Just over two minutes to play. Hillis had Presley to jump, and now going down low, Hayes. Wow. A little bit of miscommunication there. Boatman coming in this game, and out goes Presley. So not many subs in this one from the Tigers compared to their last game against the Maroons, as they do believe they can win this game, of course, so they're rolling with the guys that they trust. Gutierrez has no points in this one so far, but he gives down low to Bernard, and it's gonna be last touched by, that's Khalil Shakir. So actually, I missed a substitution. They brought in um, Khalil, that is Khalil Shaw and they took out Isaiah Emanuel. Here's Hayes working around, shots up, no good. Here's Bernard driving and Dyson, that one does not fall, and here's Boatman, great way to jump the pass. Here's Jordan Boatman. Here is Josh Ruiz and back out to Boatman. Falls into the trap, trying to get out of it. Goes under it, and instead, it's a pass right to Sebastian Rivera. Nice move there on Josh Ruiz to hold onto the ball. Here's Sebastian Rivera cutting into the cup, and it does not fall for the Broncos. Now pushing it ahead is, that's Angelo Bernard. He loses that one. Bernard, the senior guard. Boatman, the junior guard, the two guys you want to look out for here on this inbound, and there is, well, Boatman to Bernard. Now here's Josh Ruiz. Ruiz is a junior as well. He's also a guard. And now here's Boatman. Under a minute to play. Ruiz loves going baseline. He does there, and he does not fall. So Pettigrew with the rebound. Now bringing it up there, that is Skipper. Sorry, that's Hayes. Here is Hillis. Head coach for the Tigers, Antoine Jennings, saying no threes. They do not want to have this game tied at the halfway mark. They're going to hold it for the last shot, most likely. No shot clock here in the IHSA basketball rules. Here's Rivera. He gives to Jordan. Chris Jordan to Hayes. And there's Jordan for three to tie. No, misses it all. Ten seconds. Here comes Bernard pushing it up, trying to cut their lead. Trying to make their lead a five point game. Instead, it'll be a foul called. That'll be on Chris Hillis. As coming here is Elliot Gonzalez. And Hillis is hitting the bench. You don't see that often at all. Getting into foul trouble, however. So you gotta. Also, nine seconds remaining before the halfway mark. So it's a good time to take out your star player, get him a little bit of rest. Some more extra rest than some of the other players. Here's Boatman. Five seconds now, clock winding down. Gutierrez gives 
Shot is up and it does not fall. Pettigrew just rebounds it, holds on to it. So that'll do it for the first half in this one. Elmwood Park Tigers leading the Walter Christian Broncos 20 to 17. It's been a solid game so far. Gotta think it'll change. <clears throat> so in this one so far, it's been a great game all around. And of course that entire first half was brought to you by our sponsor, Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? Save time, shop online at RosenHyundai.com and Genesis of Algonquin.com. So that'll wrap it up for the first half. I'm Nate Grandis here with the Beacon Academy, and we'll be back after a quick break.
And welcome back to another half of Elgin Holiday Tournament Basketball. So far in this one, the Tigers lead 20 to 17, inbound coming here. Jordan Boatman, he's been quiet in this one along with Anthony Gutierrez, both starting in this game, following their great performance against the Maroons, and they inbound to each other there, going back, back to Boatman, calling to the trap. Here's Gutierrez at the top of the key, going down low. Quick moving, and that's a good shot there by Bernard. Looks like that. We're rolling here in the second, sorry, the third quarter, second half. Jordan missed a three at the end of the half earlier in this one as Rivera holds on to this one. Great defense played there by Anthony Gutierrez. This has been, has been very quiet in this one. Just four points in the averages. 27 a game. Pettigrew misses the dunk. And Jeff Harris wanted that bad. And there'll be a foul call there on Chris Jordan. As we're going to be seeing Boatman go to the line for the Tigers. Jordan Boatman, two free throws coming here. Boatman, the junior for the Tigers. Waits, shoots, and buries. So, nice made free throw there for Jordan Boatman. That's a spell J O R D Y N. Interesting way. So Jordan, second one's up and second one's good. So Boatman makes them both, and they lead 24-17 because of it. Here comes Chris Hillis trying to get going in this second half. Very low scoring game for him. Could be his least points of the year. Here is Rivera working around, going down low. Jonathan Hayes fakes, shoots, and misses. Rebounded by Bernard. The Tigers can quickly start pulling away. Here comes Boatman, full steam ahead. And we said Boatman didn't get much in that first half. They're long and they went hard here in the second half. Nine point lead, the biggest of the game for the Tigers. Hillis going down low to Pettigrew. That one is stolen by Diaz. Here comes Joshua Diaz. Thought about shooting against that. Gives Bernard for three. Oh, yeah. Beautiful shot from Angelo Bernard. Now a 12 point lead. And a much of the timeout by Jeff Harris of the Broncos. What a start to the quarter from the Elmwood Park Tigers. About as good as it could have started. A huge three pointer for Elmwood Park. Brought to you by Wise Guys Pizzeria. For the best pizza in town, it's Wise Guys Pizzeria in South Elgin. Check out the new and improved ordering system online. Order system at onwiseguys.com. See their catering menu online for parties or any occasion. It's all there at onwiseguys.com. So we're back to ball and inbound coming here for Chris Hillis. That's Sebastian Rivera bringing it up here for Walter Christian. And I feel like there's a bit of travel there, but no call. And here's Jordan driving inside. Shots up, still yet to make one here in the second half. He's missed two. And here's Joshua Ruiz. He's been in, I believe, this entire game along with Anthony Gutierrez and Angelo Bernard. Here's Boatman working around, fakes a pass, and stolen by Hillis. Here comes Hillis, keeping it alive somehow, but not for long as here's Boatman. He pickpocketed him. What a pass down low. And now there's a pass down low. Manuel shot's no good. Offensive rebound. Manuel back up with it. And second chance points leads to the line for Isaiah Manuel. First free throw coming here for Isaiah Manuel. Under six to play here in the second, no, third quarter. One. See Chris Hill staying back. Bowman and Gutierrez watching him way back there. Second one's up and second one is no good. So one for two from the line is Isaiah Manuel. 30 to 17 in for the Tigers. And you see their head coach Antoine Jennings wanted to make sure they got a Chris Hillis. As he goes down low to Pettigrew, he's talked about it earlier. A lot of the times, Hillis fires down low and 
well. Walter Christian Candle on to these bullets and passes. 13 point lead here for the Tigers. Game starting to slip away from the Broncos. Five and a half minutes to play, however, and it's only the third quarter. As he runs into two bodies there, holds on. Here's Boatman stripped by. It's here's Hillis. Pardon me, that was Skipper. There's Hillis driving inside, and one opportunity. Chris Hillis wants his points, and he wants them bad. Driving inside for a big time basket for the Broncos. 5.19 to play here in the third quarter. Trying to complete the end one is Chris Hillis. One for two from the line so far this morning in this 15th place game. That one's up and that one's good for Walter Christian. Inbound coming for Elmwood Park. Here's Anthony Gutierrez. Cross court pass to Boatman. Jordan Boatman working around, trying to find something here. Gutierrez, nice move. Gutierrez, Ruiz for three. No, rebounded by Bernard. Shot back up, no good. And it'll be last touch by. It looks like it'll be last touch by Angelo Bernard. Team. Does not work. There is a shot and it's no good. Misses it all. That right there was Skipper. So here is Gutierrez working around. Giving the boat in. Gutierrez. One of the best scorers on the end of park. That one is no good by Angelo Bernard. And pushing up the floor here is Skipper. Skipper falling into the double team gets out of it. Now to Hillis, Christopher Hillis, guarded closely by Boatman, now going down low, working around, Jordan gives to Rivera. Double team coming, no more now, just one on one, as here is Jordan. Hillis for three, no, rebounded by Ruiz, and it looks like there might be an over the Back foul called, who knows? And it'll be an inbound coming. Hillis gives down low, shot by Chris Jordan's no good, and it'll be last touched by. Looks like it'll be last touched by Isaiah Emanuel. Inbound coming here. Hillis, of course, to do it. Christopher Hillis looking around, trying to find someone. Looking, still looking, and he finally gets to Pettigrew. Pettigrew working around, shots up, and it falls. So Brandon Pettigrew's on the board in this one. Took a while, but he finally gets on the board. As now Sir Gutierrez pushing it up. And that one, that's another turnover there for the Tigers. Their lead starting to slip away from them. Now it's an eight point game. Walter Christian started to cut it close here with 3.41 to play here in the third. Here's Skipper. Gets to Rivera. Falling in the double team here. He goes down low. Pettigrew shots up. It's good. Brandon Pettigrew. to Gutierrez, the trap works perfectly. Here's Hillis driving inside, pass down low, skipper shot, is good! And it's a six point game! Charlie with a four point game! The Broncos storming back here in the third after a hot, hot start by the Tigers. We'll see what happens in this one. Much needed timeout called here for the Tigers. Just a four point game, three minutes to play here in the third. It's been a phenomenal game. We will see if it continues. And this, ha and this timeout is brought to you by Tom the Plumber. Tom the Plumber Inc. is a family owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit him online at TomThePlumberInc.com or give him a call at 847-513-3971.
So 3.11 to play here. Inbound coming for, that's Anthony Gutierrez. Gutierrez gets ready and he gives to Boatman. So Jordan Boatman, swinging around the, the court. Gutierrez nearly lost it, gives to Ruiz. He loves going baseline. He does here and he gets the basket. So nice nifty move there by Josh Ruiz, zigging and zagging through the players for a big time bucket. Much needed, finally ending the run by the Broncos, which was a 9-0 run. Jordan's got it now. He looks like, his body's on the floor, and looks like it's gonna be jump ball called. And possession goes to the Tigers. Sorry, that's Broncos, pardon me. Second half, it was now Broncos, but first half, it was the Tigers. So, inbound coming, Hillis gives to Skipper. Skipper just chucks up a shot. Not a good decision. Rebounded by Bernard, and here comes Gutierrez. Full steam ahead. Josh Ruiz pushing it up. Ruiz misses the wide open layup. Two twenty-eight to play here. Here is Boatman. So, 2.24 to play. As now, here is, that one's gonna go out of bounds. A little bit of miscommunication. 2.19 to play. Gutierrez gives to Ruiz, working around. Going to Boatman. That one's up and that one's good for the that is the Tigers. Another great basket there. That's Isaiah Emanuel. That one's up and that one is good. So another great shot there for the Broncos. They're starting to get it going here. But it could be a little bit of a chance of too little too late. Still just the third quarter. Trailing by six. That one's up and it's just basket after basket after basket for both these teams. Manuel, great job. So that's Angelo Bernard, pardon me. That one missed there by Skipper. Here's Hillis, just gonna sort of throw it off of Bernard and it'll remain Broncos ball. Bernard felt like it hit Hillis again, but instead it does not. So here we go, inbound coming from Hillis. Wood Park leading 36-28. Walker Christian with 28 points, of course. Here is Hillis. Not many points for him in this one. Skipper working around, giving to Rivera. Also not many points for him. Hillis guarded closely by Gutierrez. Hillis back out to Rivera. Nearly fell into the trap. He does fall into the trap, and he goes down low. Pettigrew shot, misses the open layup at six foot six. You can't be doing that. He misses again. Jordan. Tries to keep it alive and it's settled a jump ball and it'll be, oh my goodness, it just rolled right to Gutierrez. That a jump pass, it was a bounce pass and it goes right over the head of Manuel. Great defense played there by the Broncos and a costly turnover made by Angelo Bernard. It's been a while since we've seen a substitution. Both these teams loving their lineups, they're keeping in, so why switch it up? 36-28, here is the finish, and it does not fall. Chris Jordan trying to drive inside there. Fifty-three seconds to play here. And speaking of the devil, substitutions coming in. That's the first time we've seen Jaden Nash. Sorry, that's Nathaniel Castillo. <laughs> Never mind, that is Jaden Nash. So, pardon me for.
for the miscommunication. And that one's up and that one falls. So makes them both. Chris Jordan, big time free throws there for the Broncos. Falling and hitting the floor. Bernard loses it. Gutierrez keeps it alive though. He just chucked it and just hoped. And here is down low pass Nash, nearly rejected by Bernard. And here come the Tigers foul called on, that'll be, that'll be called on Skipper. Third team foul the quarter with IHSA rules. They reset every quarter, so looks like they're going to be okay from hitting the bonus. And lots of hustle here. Bodies hitting the floor. And a travel called on Jordan Bowman. Assistant coach for the Broncos, loving it. That's Derek Murray. Him and Harris, loving what they're seeing. 27 seconds to play here. Here's Chris Hillis. Top of the key, guarded closely by Gutierrez. He gives, that is, um, it's Skipper. Skipper working around. Here's Nemanja Skipper. They give to, of course, Chris Hills. You gotta think he's gonna be taking the last shot here for the Broncos. Gives to Skipper. Trying to look around, they go down low. Clock winding down, Jordan at the buzzer, no! So, that'll do it for the third quarter. Waldner Christian trailing in this one, 36 to 30. Hasn't been the third quarter they wanted whatsoever. And just like that, Broncos trail by six. Chris Hillis has not been able to get going. That's a big thing for the Broncos. It just has not been able to work. Not exactly what you want if you are Walter Christian. Tigers, however, you played a great quarter, dominated on all ends of the ball, outscoring them 16 to 13. So not by much, but an outscore is an outscore. So we got one more quarter to play, and this fourth quarter will be brought to you by Dearborn's Photography. For portraits, family photos, graduation photos, sports teams photos, and more, for all of your photographic needs, contact Dearborn's Photography. You can find Dearborn's online at Dearborn'sPhotography.com. So Daryl Barnes gonna be bringing us this great fourth quarter. We'll see what happens, and this one should be yet another great game between Elmwood Park and the Broncos. I'm Nate Grandis here with the Beacon Academy. Ready to wrap up this game. We'll see what happens. Should be a, another great game in the Elgin Holiday Tournament. So Elmwood Park will have the ball following the miss from Chris Jordan where they got the rebound. That was Josh Ruiz at the end of the quarter who got that rebound. Here is Boatman working around. Trying to find someone, they go down low to Bernard. Bernard's shot is up and it's no good. Rebounded by Bernard and it'll be a travel call on Bernard. So whole lot of Angelo Bernard in the first 10 seconds of this fourth quarter. Always fun to look at. So here we go. Should be a great finish to this one. Hillis working around, giving to Nash, now back out to Nash. Working around, great pass. Hillis moving around, Chris Hillis shots up and it does not fall, rebounded by Jordan. That one's up, that doesn't fall, but it's gonna be a foul called on. It'll be Boatman getting the foul call. His third foul of the game, so Jordan Boatman's gonna get a little bit of foul trouble here for the Tigers. Could possibly be coming out. Looks like he's gonna stay in though. And he will. So head coach Antoine Jennings is going to give him a little bit of a chat. Seven and a half minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Jordan getting ready. Shoots and does not bury. So misses one and makes one. Under seven and a half to play here. Here is Boatman falling into the trap. Looks like it might have been a traveler is going to be a foul called, it'll be a timeout called by Elmwood Park. Not a surprise there. Trying to avoid the player's turnover. Good job to save morale. And all around a good decision made there by head coach Antoine Jennings. So 
So this timeout is brought to you by Custom Heating and Cooling. For all of your heating or cooling needs, count on Custom Heating and Cooling and Cooling of Chicagoland. Featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service, find them online at customheating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling, powered by Bryant, whatever it takes. So, 7.22 to play in this one. Coming up next, we're going to have the Elgin Maroons and the Kennedy Crusaders facing off. Of course, both these teams lost to them yesterday. So, that's of course why they're going to be playing in the 13th place game. Right now, as of now, if this game was to end right now, Walter Christian would finish last in the tournament, which is just not what you want, as it has not been the season they, season they wanted so far. 0-11 on the year in the regular season, trying to just get something going. Chris Hillis has done everything he can for the Broncos, but he's had a quiet game today. That's a big reason why they trail by five here with 7.22 to play. Here's Boatman, gives to Gutierrez. Gutierrez working around, guarded closely by Hillis. Great defense played here by the Broncos. Given Gutierrez a lot of space, which could be dangerous, and they're just gonna be continuing to kill that clock. They know they can win this game very easily by just murdering the clock. Manuel hits the floor hard, and it'll be Broncos ball. Good sportsmanship there, Skipper brings up Manuel. And the skipper is going to be doing the inbound here. If I had to guess, yep, it'll be Chris Hillis bringing it up. Hillis, just six points in this one, trying to get something going. Sorry, seven points, pardon me. Here's Hillis off the screen for three. No, we've been big. Here's Boatman, cross court pass. Ruiz loses it. And it was a great pass by Boatman. Ruiz was coming in too hot, though. And that's just a tough loss there. Tough loss of possession. And now, five point lead for the Tigers. Here's Skipper working around, given to, that's Jaden Nash, and he's stolen, pickpocketed by Josh Ruiz. Here's Gutierrez, six and a half to play here in the fourth. Working around, Ruiz, he's had a great game so far for Elmwood Park. Last few times we're gonna see these teams play here in the Elgin Holiday Tournament. Here's Ruiz for three, no good. <laughs> That one rebounded by Jose Manuel. Six minutes left. Here's Skipper working around. Nash's shot is up. That one's no good. Rebounded by Ruiz. Backing up into Pettigrew does not work. And now going down low. That one's up and that one's a severe error for Isaiah Emmanuel, making it a nine point game here with 540 to play. What has been a phenomenal game. See if it continues. So coming up for the Broncos, Sebastian Rivera comes in, out goes Nehemiah Skipper. So, we'll see what happens here. It looks like it's a little bit of miscommunication. As the inbound's coming for Hillis, working around, trying to find something. Hillis to avoiding the violation. And Jordan just trucks up a shot. Same with Pettigrew, but Pettigrew nails his. Seven point game here, 5.30 to play. Here comes Manuel, Isaiah Manuel, working around, gives to Bernard. Back out to Gutierrez, swinging the ball around the arc here, going down low, great ball movement, and it's Isaiah Manuel down low again. Having a great game here for, that's nine points now for Isaiah Manuel. Here is Rivera, working around, giving to Hillis. Chris Hillis driving inside, mid-range shot is up, and he misses again, Chris Hillis. Still can't get anything going. That one nearly stolen by Rivera. Somehow Boatman holds on. Gutierrez gives to Ruiz. Josh Ruiz back out to Gutierrez and down low to Bernard. Bernard's shot is up and that one's good. A beautiful left hand finish by Angelo Bernard. So just like that, an 11 point lead for the Tigers. 
Hugger Mountain going to travel there on Rivera instead. No call. Four and a half to play now. Clock is dwindling here and time is running out for the Broncos. Here's Hillis driving right into him. Travel call by Chris Hillis. The bench loving it. Jeff Harris not. Jordan not. And of course Hillis of course is not. Inbound coming for the Tigers. They could put a nail in the coffin here with a three. Which may make it a 14 point game with just 421 to play. Here is Boatman. Working around, giving to Gutierrez. Now Ruiz. Still working around. Going down low. Bernard. Shot up. Shot good. Beautiful job by Angelo Bernard again. Now a 13 point game. They have to score here. The Broncos need points like they need air to breathe. And it'll be out of bounds. Another costly turnover. The Tigers loving it, trying to get, get another win in this tournament. So 356 to play would be their first win of the tournament, pardon me. Hence why they are in this game. 356 to play has not been Chris Hillis's game who, they, who the Broncos usually run their offense through. So it's a little bit of a surprise there. Three fifty-six to play here. Timeout called by the Broncos. So, of course, this timeout is brought to you by some good eats. We've got our student sponsor, the Bear Family McDonald's. So, of course, proud supporters of our community since 1967. And, of course, you can stop by one of their 35 area McDonald's restaurants today. So, big timeout called here. It's been a great game, 46-33. For this fourth quarter, we saw the Tigers jump out early in the third. We saw the Broncos answer, and they cut the lead to a shortest two. But in this fourth quarter, they have not been able to answer. It's been brutal. There's head coach Jeff Harris looking like the Broncos might be finishing last in this tournament, which is brutal for team morale for a team that hasn't won any games all year. And oh my goodness, it looks like number 10, that is Sebastian Rivera. Uh, Zerdia, don't get it twisted with number zero, Sebastian Rivera. We have Sebastian Rivera, Azurdia coming in here for the Broncos. That is the sophomore, sorry, the junior. Here comes Ruiz, full steam ahead, down low, Manuel again! Isaiah Manuel cannot be stopped down low. 340 to play here. Rivera working around the arc. The Broncos need points and they need them quick. They need a three more than anything. There is a three. Nash's shot, no good. And that might just do it. If they do score, it's just gonna be a chance a little too little too late. Jump ball called. It will be Tigers ball, I believe. No, it will be Broncos ball. Game getting interesting here. 322 to play. 15 point game. Under three and a half minutes. It's gonna be very hard. They need everything to go right. It's gonna be nearly impossible. Pettigrew shots up and that one's good. So that's one thing to go right. That's 13 points now is what the lead is for the Tigers. That one looks like it's gonna be a foul called on Sebastian Rivera, the guard. Inbound coming here. Here's Boatman working around, giving to. Yep, Boatman driving inside, back out to Gutierrez. No points for Anthony Gutierrez. That has not mattered. He stayed in all game, gave some great passes, gave some a lot of hustle. Manuel down low again, going to draw the foul on Pettigrew. He makes both of these. That will be the nail on the coffin. And that will most likely put Walter Christian in last place in what, a tournament that they probably want to forget, in a season they probably want to forget. You guys going to flush down the gutter as they're going to be looking to win something coming up. 2.51 to play. Free throw coming from Isaiah Manuel. That one's up and that one is no good. So, not a 50 yet are the Tigers. You gotta think that'll change here. 48 35 shot coming from Isaiah Manuel. It's up and it's no good. Misses both. 
Here's Ruiz, Josh Ruiz, and oh my goodness, they cannot stop the paintball. Looks like we might have a running clock here with 2.40 to play. Trailing by 15 of the Broncos. Rivera driving inside, shot no good. Out of bounds, last touched by Joshua Ruiz. And it will remain Broncos ball. No, pardon me, it is not going to be a running clock. Coming in here for the Broncos, Chris Jordan, and out goes Chris Hillis. Head coach Jeff Harris has, well, probably just woven his, wave his, waved his white flag by subbing out his star, Chris Hillis. Sebastian Rivera, Azurdia throws that one up. Here's Bernard going down low. Manuel again. It's Isaiah Manuel. It's been like that all game long, especially here in the fourth. And you got to think it's just going to keep on continuing. It's just going to keep on keeping on. Two minutes to play here. Rivera working around. Bronco show by 17. Throwing it to Jordan. He loses it. Ruiz over the head of. What a pass and what a score. Jordan Boatman. Under two minutes to play here. Tigers lead 54 to 35 up by 19 points. It's Boatman again. Here he comes. It's another basket. 56 35. And it looks like some subs are going to be coming in here. Tigers is going to be wrapping this one up. This game is over without a doubt. Jordan makes that one, however. And a timeout, no, substitutions. Hayes comes in, Elliot Gonzalez comes in. Out goes Joshua Ruiz, out goes Gutierrez, and out goes Bernard. Staying in is Boatman, and staying in is Manuel. Priscilla is still on the bench for the Broncos. Working around. Trying to find something that's number five. That would be David Carrera. Carrera, the senior. Here's Boatman, guarded closely by Nash. Going down low. That was Matthew Pritt, this junior. Plays power forward, small forward and center. Here's Carrera back out to Boatman. Nearly falling into double team. Here's Carrera for three. No, rebounded by, that'll be Nash. Nash keeping his feet inbound. Great job there. Nash given three pointer is good. That was a beautiful shot by Sebastian Rivera Azurdia. 44 seconds to go here. Pritt working around, given to Boatman, back out to Scotty Ruiz. Ruiz nailed a three earlier in this one. Sorry, he take he took two threes, missed both, but it's good to see the confidence from the freshman. Carrera working around there is going to kill this clock. I doubt they give the ball back here to the Broncos or take any shots. So most likely, unless a unreal miracle happens, this game is over. As the Broncos are going to be winning, are going to be losing this one, 56 to 40. Tough loss. Yet to win a game on the season it hasn't been a season to forget, to say the least. They sent Hillis to the bench with about two minutes to go. He's waving their white flag. Head coach Jeff Harris not going to like what he saw from his team today. Antoine Jennings definitely going to like it though. Manuel could have shot that, of course. And that will do it. Dribbling it out is Boatman. Who else? Boatman got to go into that second half. So, the Elmwood Park Tigers are going to be getting 15th place in the Elgin Holiday Tournament. The Walter Christian Broncos will be getting 16th place. So, here in the Elgin Winter Classic, now what you want there. As entering the building there, you've got the Elgin Maroons. Should be a great game. The Crusaders and the Maroons playing for 13th place. One guy to look out for, of course, as always, is Maddox Hollian, one of the best players here in this tournament, one of the best players in the conference, as we've got another great game ready to go. That'll do it for this one. As a special thanks to all of our season sponsors, we've got our game sponsors, Bearfield McDonald's, Custom Eating and Cooling of Chicagoland, Rosen Hyundai, Tom the Plumber, and Daryl Barnes Photography. I am Nate Grundy's with the Beacon Academy, signing off until the next game between the Elder Maroons and the Kennedy Crusaders. This sports broadcast made possible with support from the following.
the Bear Family McDonald's, proud supporters of our community since 1967. Stop by one of their over 35 area McDonald's restaurants today. Rosen Hyundai of Algonquin and Genesis of Algonquin. Looking for a brand new Hyundai or certified pre-owned? It's Rosen Express online buying made simple. Visit RosenHyundai.com or GenesisOfElgonquin.com. Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland. For all your heating or cooling needs, count on Custom Heating and Cooling. Featuring sales, installation, and 24-hour emergency service. Find them online at CustomHeating.com. Custom Heating and Cooling. Powered by Bryant. Whatever it takes. For the best pizza in town. Wise Guys Pizzeria in South Elgin. Check out our new and improved online ordering at imawiseguy.com. Tom the Plumber is a family-owned and operated company committed to providing plumbing service and installations of the highest quality and craftsmanship. Tom the Plumber, honest and affordable. Visit Tom online at tomtheplumberinc.com. And Daryl Barnes Photography for portraits, family and graduation photos, sports team photos, and more. Contact Daryl Barnes Photography at darylbarnes.com. 